Now after clone, because the new laptop does not support legacy boot, I will use another Dell laptop to support both legacy and UEFI boot. The purpose of this step is to convert my disk to UEFI boot, to be able to install it on my new laptop. After installing the cloned disk inside the laptop, power it on. As you see the Windows boot and getting devices ready. Now I will convert the disk to UEFI, if you want to know more about UEFI, I will leave the link to the video in the description box below, which appears in the upper right corner now as suggested watch video. Run the command prompt as administrator. and run this command. mbr2gpt.exe slash convert slash allow full OS. Consider my disk is only one partition. Now conversion is completed successfully. I will restart the laptop. And enter BIOS. And modify the following settings before booting. Boot sequence select UEFI. Disable legacy. Turn OMPTT or TPM. Then enable Secure Boot. Save changes and boot the Windows. The next video is part 3, and the last one in this playlist, keep subscribing, and activate the notification bell to be notified of the following video. Thanks for watching.